Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about the golden spatula and each of its combinations. But Brian, what even is a spatula? I don't know, it has to do something, right? So if you're wondering how to do the most with your spatula, keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Brian. I post gameplays and reviews on iOS and PC games and we have fun along the way. So if you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe down below. It really means the world to me. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Well, the first one is gonna be Runan's Hurricane and you need to combine Spatula and Negatron Cloak. The effect is it attacks two additional enemies, deal 50% damage for the additional attacks. This is the only item combination of the spatula that goes against the general theme of the wearer being able to change their class. It's my least favorite spatula combination just because it doesn't change your class, but that's just me. But if you could pair this item with uh, Gwyn Su's Rage Blade, which gives you 4% attack speed and it stacks indefinitely, or Rapid Fire Cannon, so your attacks can be dodged and your attack range is doubled. This is very important to get if you're building a ranger comp. You're gonna do a lot of damage with this item combination. Next is Knight's Vow. And to do that, you need to combine Spatula and Chain Vest. And you get plus 40 armor where it becomes a knight as well. And the knight bonus, as you guys know, extra damage blocked. This is good to put on champions like Brom and Leona, like the Guardian units. If you could pair this item with Thornmail, reflect 100% mitigated damage taken from attacks as true damage, or Dragon Claw, which is 83% resistance to magic damage. And you're gonna get a super beefed up tank that will protect your entire team, so pretty much almost unstoppable. Next is Blade of the Ruined King. To do this, you need to combine Recurve Bow and Spatula, and the wearer becomes Blade Master. And the Blade Master bonus is Chance to Additional Attack. So, this is situationally powerful and helps you round out Draven or Blade Master comps. This is good for Assassins and Rangers. And again, you could pair this with Gwinsu's Rage Blade with 4% attack speed. And if you could do that, this unit will be your heavy damage dealing unit for your team. Next is Frozen Mallet. This is when you combine Giant's Belt and Spatula. This is one of my favorites because the wearer becomes Glacial. And I don't know about you guys, I find it really hard to do Glacial comps just because you're starting off with just Braum and Lissandra. If you get Frozen Mallet early game, you're able to get the additional Glacial unit faster. It's gonna be very beneficial for you early game. Oh, this is good for Glacial Ranger comps, Glacial Elementalist, all that jazz. Next is Darkin, and you need Tear of Goddess and Spatula. The effect is where it becomes a demon. The bonus is Mana Burn. So this is good if you're doing a Demon Sorcerer comp and putting the Darkin on Pike. I only say this because he can use his ultimate ability after just one hit and which is pretty big stun across the enemy team and it gives you extra time to deal damage. Along with mana burn, the enemy won't be able to counter really well. So if you're doing that comp, this item will really help you. Next is Yumi and you get spatula and needlessly large rod and the wearer becomes sorcerer. I don't know about you guys but I wish that Yumi was an actual unit but at least She's in a game as an item, so can't have it all. And if you're doing full sorcerer build, this is the ideal item that you need because you can finish your comp faster. A strategy is to add a Vigor, Orion Soul, and then finish off with a strong unit with the Yumi, like during mid to late game. I think Shivana is the best option as the Yumi holder because she increases the survivability of Orion Soul with the Dragon Synergy or Magic Immunity. But you could also give the extra slots to Elementalist and give Yumi to one of them as well, that works too. Basically, you want to give Yumi to your highest damage dealing sorcerer for your comp. You have BF Sword and Spatula for Yumu's Ghost Blade, and where it becomes an assassin. So obviously, assassin comps, put it on anyone that you want, but 
bear in mind, assassins do have the stealth ability and they jump right across the map in front of each round, so just remember not to put it on like a mage or your squishy units because that unit is gonna fly across the map in the beginning of each round. So they kind of nerfed assassins after the recent update, but this item is still good. Lastly, my favorite one, spatula plus spatula equals force of nature, and the effect is unit does not count towards the unit cap. Well, this goes against the general spatula combination theme as well. It doesn't change your class, but you get an extra unit, bro. So that's why I recommend you guys to, when you get a spatula, just save it until you can find another one. Because mid to late game, you have the choice of either turning it into a force of nature or having two separate spatula combinations, which is pretty OP to have that choice. Hope you guys liked my informative video. If you guys use your spatula combinations a different way, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.